Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today is the last part of Pikachu week! Today we're going to be opening this X and Y Evolutions theme deck store display thing. We're going to be pulling out one of these Pikachu decks right here, and we'll go and take a look through that. Then we'll take it on to the Pokemon TCG Online uh, game thing. We'll put in the code, and we'll do some gameplay with that, as well as the code from the Pikachu tin we got back on Monday. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. There's also some Mewtwo decks inside here, but we'll get to that eventually. You can see Mewtwo on that side. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. I'm not probably not going to do too much editing here because it's going to be very simple to open. Just got to rip off the plastic on the front. We'll go ahead and take this guy off and then we just have to open up the little front dude. Good enough plastics on the side there, so we'll just lift this dude up. And there you can see we have all of our decks, but this is the cool thing. It's actually got the original Pikachu right here from the base set of cards, but it's got a holographic version. This card came out like 20 years ago, at least in Japan, and I don't know if we've ever seen a holographic version of that. We might have, but I don't think we have, so that's super, super cool to see. You can also see good old new Pikachu design right there. Our Guess it wouldn't be old, but yeah, this is going to be the set list. That's everything we'll have inside there. But let's go ahead and open it up, and we'll take a look at that ourselves. So since I don't plan to actually keep this particular box, I'm just going to rip it right open, and we'll pull these guys out. Oh my gosh! I can't wait for you guys to see this. You can, you kind of already saw it a little bit, but look at this crud. We've got a Chansey coin. This is like some old school crud right here. This original Chansey design. It used to be made out of like cardboard or paper or something. Now it's of course plastic, but it's got the original design that is so cool to see and of course we've got that Pikachu right there looking shiny and beautiful he's got Na and Thunder Jolt and down here it says it has small electric sacks on both its cheeks if threatened it looses looses electric charges from the sacks okay well there's that and here's the code card which I'll be using myself so I mean, you could see it. It's not going to work because I'm going to use it before this video goes out. Here we've got the deck box, which will have our 60 cards, or I guess 59 because one of them is right here. And here we've got some info about the set. This is like Charizard and Crud. Here we've got our damage counters and status indicators. And we have a play mat, so that'll be for actually playing the game if you want to play not online if you want to play with the actual cards here. So let's go open this guy up and see what we've got. You know, I find it kind of odd that, oh here we've got a non-holographic Magneton, that's kind of weird looking, but I find it kind of odd that the two theme decks they chose for the set are uh, Mewtwo and Pikachu, because back in the original base set, there was a theme deck called Zap, and it had Pikachu and Mewtwo in it. So they used to be teammates basically on in the same or in the same deck so it's weird to see that they're kind of split now they're kind of opposing decks but as you can see we've got a lot of grass pokemon so this is an electric and grass type deck the magneton was looking cool kind of weird that we have both the beedra line and the butterfree line i actually don't know if we have butterfree we might just have the Caterpie and Metapod, that's what it looks to be here. We've also got Doduo, Electabuzz, and a bunch of trainers, things like that. So there you go, just a quick little run through this deck here. Let's go ahead and take the code online and see if we can get some actual gameplay going with this one. Alrighty, so here we are in the TCG Online client thing. And look at that, do you see those decks? Those look nice. I wonder if I'll ever do an opening of those. Wink. Anyways, let me go and put these codes in. Let's get these decks real quick, and then we'll go do some gameplay. Alrighty, it looks like the deck for the Pikachu EX10 is called Thunder's Crash, and the one from the theme deck is obviously called Pikachu Power. So let's go ahead and hit claim. I had to enter two of the ones for the deck, uh, for the tin, because I forgot which one I saved, but uh, here is the deck we just unlocked, as well as that beautiful Chansey coin. And let's go check out the next one here. So this is the one from the tin. As you can see, it actually has the Pikachu EX, and it has, I guess, some Raikou, some Magnezone stuff bunch of trainers, some energy cards, so wow, a lot of energy cards actually. Uh, a lot of you guys were telling me that this Pikachu is not really that great because its HP is so low. Uh, it is only 130, so if they if they take out an EX Pokemon, they get to draw two prize cards. You only need six to win, so having low HP on an EX is pretty rough. Anyways, let's go and play the regular theme deck first. We're up against, uh, we're up against another electric type deck right here. I don't know what that deck is. So I guess we're just going to have to see how we do. Uh, I'm going to call heads. Let's call heads right here. See if we can get heads on that Chansey. Yeah, we got it. So I'm going to go first here for sure. But I like to go first. Heck yeah. So we will be going first. Let's see if we can draw one of those Pikachu EXs. There's two in the deck. Uh, okay, we don't have one of those. We've got a lot of options for what to put out first here. This Caterpie is exactly the same as it was back in the day. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's see. We've got Voltorb. Continuous Tumble. Hmm. I don't have any energy cards. I think I'm going to put out Voltorb. I, I don't really have any particular reason for doing that, but 
That's just what we're going with. So I'll also put down the Caterpie, hopefully get that into a Metapod here. And maybe it'd be worth putting out Tangela. I'm just going to put out that for now. I don't know if there's if it's a good idea to put like all of your basic Pokemon out. I really don't know that much about what's the right moves to make when playing this kind of game. But well, let's go ahead and put down our prize cards. And it looks like they're going to be starting with a Kangaskhan right there. That if they, if they have a double colorless energy, I'm basically totally going to get wrecked. Let's go ahead and use Tierno to draw three cards right here. And we've got a switch if we need it. I'm going to go ahead and put down the electric energy. However, I can't attack on turn one right here. So I guess we're going to be done. Maybe I should have saved that. I don't know. I don't know what the right choice is. We do have a revive, so we could put it from our uh, discard pile onto our bench. Back in the original base set, this would make it so you had to put them at half HP. So I guess they removed that from it. And they do have the double colorless, which means they're going to hit me for 40 damage. And I will be dead next turn. Although, I could get super lucky, and maybe I can get Continuous Tumble to give me 12 heads in a row. That would be great, because so, it does 10 damage times the number of heads, so if I get 12 heads, then we'll just kill him. That's very unlikely, but I mean, technically it's possible, right? Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a Pokeball, if heads we can search for a particular card here. I guess we'll go ahead and do that, see if we can get one of those Pikachu EX. No, nope, we're going to get a Tails right there. And I don't really have anything too good here. If I use my Switch, it's going to kill my Caterpie, or I could switch to like one of these guys, but he'll probably just power it up and one-shot them anyways. So I guess we'll go ahead and try to do some damage. Wait, you know what? I'm going to put a Tangela down just so we can actually swap to that once we uh, once our Voltorb dies. But let's hope we get 12 Tails. Why not? There's our 12 heads. We got one! Awesome! Okay, so we got one twelfth of what I was hoping to get. Not too shabby. Uh, I don't know how we're going to actually defeat this Kangaskhan. This is a bit of a problem here. Wait a second. I'm an idiot, dude. This is the theme deck. This is not the one with the EXs. I don't know why I was saying we got to hope for those Pikachu EX. That is not in this deck. I don't even know what we've got in this deck that could possibly be good. Uh, I mean, if I could get up to a Magneton. No, but it's just going to kill himself. I don't even know what I could use in this deck that would be worthwhile. He's going to power up to his full power thing very shortly. I don't see any way we could possibly have any hope of winning this at all. I think we just lose. You know what, guys? I've got an idea. What we're going to do is use the revive. That's going to take the Voltorb, put that back on our deck right here, or back on our thing, whatever. And then we're going to use the switch so we can put that out in place of Tangela. And then we're going to put an energy on him and attack. Maybe we'll get 11 heads. If this doesn't work, I don't think there's anything else my deck has that can kill this Kangaskhan. We got zero. Okay, that, that's the only idea I possibly had. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to forfeit, which I don't even know how to do, actually. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to concede because I can't conceive of anything that my deck could possibly have that can deal with that Kangaskhan, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and hit done here. Let's try out the other deck, the one that actually has the EX. The thing is... You can only use the basic theme decks here for this particular game mode, so we can't actually use that. So I'm gonna have to go to like the big, the big versus thing. Or how do we how do we get there? I think we go to standard here. There we go, and we've got our one deck Pikachu EX Fall 2016. The thing is, before it was more of an even match because people could only have theme decks, but here people can have anything, so they can have the best decks in the game, anything like that. So it looks like he's gonna have an Evil Tall coin right here. Let's see what he's got. He's gonna go for heads and he's choosing who goes first oh i go first maybe going first is bad in this game i don't know let's see okay we do have pikachu ex right here very nice so what we could do is put him up front oh he has got no basic pokemon so he's gonna take a mulligan right there that means he has to shuffle his things back in draw a new card and i think i get the chance to draw a card myself uh, do I hit done? Oh, okay. I, th I thought he had to do something there. So I'm going to choose this Pikachu EX because it's my only option. And we'll power it up on turn one. Turn two, we'll get it uh, juiced up a little bit. And we'll use that Thundershock. And Mega Thunderbolt's going to be the good one, I guess. It's going to do a lot of damage, but it's going to have to... I'm going to have to discard, Crud. Uh, okay, we'll hit done here. Let's see. What are, my, what are my trainer cards as well? Oh, he has to show me his hand, I guess. Well, he's got a lot of different types. I don't know what he's going for with this deck. But let me read these real quick. So we search for up to four, wow, four electric energy cards. That's really good. We also have, oh, okay, it's still him doing stuff. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, 
So, if only we had a way to power up Pikachu quick. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may attach an electric energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Okay, so I get how this works. Uh, would you like to draw a card? Sure. So the way this works is we get Magnezone, and we use that to equip lots of electric energies to Pikachu, using Clement to find them, and then we use Mega Thunderbolt to dish out all the damage super, super quickly. I think... Do I even want this Pikachu? I think I'm going to go ahead and use Misty's Determination to discard this one Pikachu right here, because I want to see if I can get a Magnemite. Not a Magneton. Uh, let's see. Do we have a regular old Magnemite? We do not have any Magnemite here. Okay. Uh, we could use Last is Special to try to draw some stuff. I think I'm going to go for probably Raikou. I just want another basic Pokemon to have, because I've just got the Pikachu right now. So this is probably probably the best move here. I don't really know. We can't attack on turn one, and we don't have the energy to do so anyways. So we're going to go ahead and hit done here. One of these days, I'll probably learn how to actually play Pokemon TCG. I mean, I kind of knew how to play back when it was just like the base set, Fossil. Uh, you know, it was like Gen 1 stuff. But back then, there was a lot less complicated crud. There were some, like, Poke Powers that sometimes were complicated, but for the most part, the moves were very straightforward. You didn't have EXs, and you didn't even have Stadium cards at that time. Uh, trainer cards were just Trainer cards. There weren't, like, supporters and items, and, you know, it was very, very bare bones back then. But, uh, yeah, they've added a lot of stuff. I still don't think it's too complicated of a game, but there's a difference between knowing the rules and actually being able to construct a good deck and play it well, you know? He's gonna go for a Lucky Helmet. What exactly does that do? Whenever the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent, you draw two cards. Wow, so if I just hit the guy, he's going to draw two cards off of that. That is a little scary, but I guess it's kind of what I have to do right here. No use in using Clement right now because I've already got plenty of electric energy cards. So we're going to go ahead and we will use that Thundershock. Um, I guess I could wait and just kill him in one shot with Mega Thunderbolt next turn. I don't know what the right move is right here. He's got an Alakazam back here, which also has 160. I, I don't really know what the right move is here. Maybe I should just wait, because I don't have Magnezone to buff up quickly. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. Uh, yes, we're just going to... Wait a second. Is there any downside? I guess the downside is he gets to draw, right? So we're not going to hit him. So I'm going to go ahead and say, we're done. This might be a dumb move. He might have some way to discard an energy from me or something like that, but... The way I see it is, we're going to kill him next turn anyways, and I don't want him to uh, get to draw two cards right there. So that's that's kind of my mindset. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but, well, that's what I'm going with here. He's going to go for Tails, so he gets to draw only four cards because he got Tails right there. Alrighty. And I guess he would have shuffled his cards back into his deck anyways if he used that, if I gave him the two extra cards, but, yeah, well, I don't know. So let's see what he does here. I think I just got to keep trying to get that Magnemite. Once we've, had, once we've got Magnemite, then this Pikachu can go nuts. But right now, it takes me three turns to power up, so it's kind of kind of a bummer. So hopefully we can get something sorted out here. Let's see. We've got another Raikou. Fantastic. Well, that's not what I'm really looking for here. I guess... I don't even know if it's worthwhile to actually kill off this guy instead of waiting for the Alakazam. I don't know. Like I said, I don't actually know how to play this very well. So we're just going to kill the guy and... We'll see if this is the wrong move down the road. We can use Clement to get more electric energies if we need them, which we will. Uh, let's see what we draw here. Please, Magnemite. We got a Bent Spoon. What does that do? Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except for damage done to Pokemon. Okay, so they can only do damage. They can't do any special effects there. Does this guy have any special effects? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe Alakazam does. Anyways. I guess we're just going to wait for this guy to use his turn up, and we'll keep looking for Magnemite. I really feel like that's the key to this. We have to get Magnemite so we can get up to this Magnezone. Once we get this, we can power up all the way to a Mega Thunderbolt in one turn instead of three turns. Now, I just wonder if we have a way to get the energy cards out of our discard pile. That's like the last missing piece here for this entire tactic to work. So we'll see if there's something like that. But if not, I don't know what we're doing. Okay, so he's going to shuffle his thing back into his thing and draw some things. Good stuff. He's just playing a trainer's mail right there. That's going to let him search for two basic energy cards. He's going for two dark energies here. And let's see what he does. He might try to power up to kill me before I can actually, uh... Yeah, before I can get back up to Mega Thunderbolt. Which is very doable. I do have a potion in the deck, though. If I draw that, that will help me a lot. So hopefully we can get there. So let's see what we got going on. We've got... Okay, there's Magnemite. Very nice. I don't think we can evolve him right away, though. So it's going to take some time to get there. 
Do I want to actually play this? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and play Clement, just to get him out of the way, just to draw some electric energies. There we go. So we can do up to four. We don't have to necessarily take four. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this crud, and we'll go ahead and hit done. So we're now four electric energies richer. However, we're not going to be able to mass equip those anytime soon. I think that I'm going to not power up Pikachu, just in case he's got a way to kill me here. So let's instead power up, I guess, this Raikou, and we can use him as an attacker if we need to. And let's go ahead and hit done right there. So we're just going to have to wait two more turns to power up. We would have had to wait this turn, these turns anyways to get to that Mega Thunderbolt. So, well, oh man, if there's just some way we can get to Magnezone. I, I believe there's a card that exists, like a Pokemon Breeder, that will let me go all the way over. But I don't know if this deck has it, or if that's even a thing that exists in this particular format for the game. Okay, so they're going to attach a second Dark Energy. They're powering up for Darkness Blade. And, uh, well, if they get me with that... Uh, I'm gonna die, so that's gonna suck. Sorry if this game's going really slow, guys. My opponent is taking their sweet time with every turn here. Okay, we've got another Clement, so we can basically super power up here. But I'm not gonna be able to do that quite yet. So we're gonna evolve this guy, but we can't evolve again. What does Raikou do? Let's go ahead and take a look. If this Pokemon has any electric energy attached to it, any damage from this Pokemon is reduced by 20. Okay, and also this does 20 more damage for each electric attached to him. So we could hypothetically really power this guy up a lot and start one-shotting his guys as well. So Raikou is a pretty good backup, so I think we're going to be fine with that. Let's go ahead and drop a second one onto this guy, if it would actually attach it. There we go. So Pikachu is going to die right here. He will get to draw the two. I guess I could have retreated him right there. That might have been the smart thing to do, but... Oh, well, I guess he's going to get my Pikachu. Oh, well, let's go ahead and hit done here. Okay, he's going to go for a Tierno and draw three cards. There's one thing I'm uncertain about with this guy. It's 50 plus, but does it only count the pluses after the three we used to do the attack? Or say I've got just three electric energies. Will that do basically like 110 damage right away? I don't know exactly how that works, but let's go ahead and put Raikou out just like this. If we just power him up two more times, hypothetically this should kill him. So let's go ahead and put down this Magnezone here. And now I can go ahead and attach two to this guy, right? So I can use my Poke Power. There we go. Let's go ahead and use that crud. We'll select this guy and uh, let's... You can only move it. No, you can move it from your hand. Okay. So now I can keep doing that, but I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And I think if my math is correct, he should die. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's weak to electric to begin with. Wow, I'm an idiot. Holy crud. Well, uh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go kill the guy with 260 damage. And I could have killed him much sooner with Pikachu if I just realized he had a weakness. I'm very bad, guys. Today is me just making a fool of myself. Not a big deal. Uh, if he doesn't kill me this turn, I can kill this Alakazam, draw two prize cards. So even though I'm playing terribly, I still have a chance at winning. Just don't, don't hate me too much, guys. I know. I know I'm doing some big fails. We played a Professor Birch's Observation. Got a tail, so we got four. Only four right there. He's got a Gardevoir. 170 on that guy. That's a little scary, but, well... Our Raikou can deal with it if we just power him up some more right here. So we do have a Raichu. I don't know if I really care about that too much right now. I'm going to go ahead and use Magnetic Circuit. And we can use that to attach two more right here. So we've got 50 plus 80. That's 130. If we put two more on there, that'll be uh, 170, which should one-shot this Alakazam. So let's go ahead and equip that. There we go. And we'll do one more here. We'll equip that. Uh, I know this is putting a lot of eggs all in one basket, but I think... Oops. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to end my turn. I want to attack right here. Let's go for Thunder Lance. And this should kill the guy. 170, and I get to draw two prize cards here. There we go. And we got a Magneton and a Stunfisk. Of course, good old Stunfisk right there. Out comes Gardevoir. So as long as he can't kill me, I can kill him with this Thunder, uh, Thunder Lance right here. Okay, they're going to make me shuffle my hand into my deck, which means I can't play Clement. I was going to power him up a lot just to, just to be safe. But, well, let's see if we get another Clement right here. Okay, we got one more electric energy. I'll take it. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and use Magnetic Circuit to get two more of these electric energies onto my Raikou, and then we'll kill off his Gardevoir, and it looks like we win. Unless I'm missing something obvious, I'm pretty sure we win right here. So there's that. Get him with the Thunder Lance, and this should be it. Come on, dude. Please let me win. Yes! Okay. Even though I did some really bad plays, made lots of mistakes, didn't realize there was a resistance, did lots of dumb stuff, even still, we managed to win. I lost my first game with the theme deck, but we won with this one, so... Well... 
Oh, man. <laughs> Games like this are very embarrassing, but at least it worked out in the end. So that's going to wrap things up for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. But, of course, we did have that Mewtwo deck inside there. So next week, we're going to do another themed week. We're going to do Mewtwo week. So over here, I've got not one, but two of these super premium collections with Mew and Mewtwo. They've got 10 packs each. They've got a gosh dang book inside. They're all kinds of crazy stuff. And then we've also got five of these Mewtwo EX boxes. So all of that, as well as the theme deck, will be opened next week. I'll see you guys then. Take care.